What's going on everybody? This child is your back out of the game coming at you with another Summoner's War video. In today's video, we're bringing you guys the same shirt that we wore yesterday to show you guys that the shirt is pretty dirty. No, really, no, on the real though. Hey, the reason why we're here for this video is to give you guys a little bit of a uh, spiritual run B10. Uh, my man OBS, who recently brought us our last video here, said, you know what, Childish? For those of you guys that don't know how to build a fast and effective SR team with the units that you already got, then you can get it done right now. Take a look at this setup we got here. So again, shouts out to OBN, OBS one time here for allowing me to do this video. But more importantly, shouts out to you guys for clicking on this video and giving me a little support. Again, fam, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you guys are looking to jump on the bandwagon here and see all these kinds of videos that we were dropping here in the near near future, all you got to do is uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always hit the notification bell so you guys know when the next video drops here. Spiritual Whelm B10. Why am I super excited to share this video with you? Because again, at the end of the day, with a new update, there's a ton of new units that we're gonna have to uh, jump in the mix and build. But luckily for us, this is one of the few dungeons that we can actually incorporate the majority of the units that we utilize in various dungeons. And now just bring in a unit that used to be super OP that's probably sitting there in your, uh, your storage, but now you can bring it back in the mixer. And again, I wanna give the praise, uh, you know, credit where credit is due at OBS and everybody out there in the community that's been playing around with this one. Seek the Fire Helm, right? Why is this one so good? For the sheer fact that we're getting not just the attack power, but the critical rate of all allies. And some people are like, you know what, Chad? It's like, why is why is he better versus, you know, somebody else that provides attack and speed or attack or whatever else? The fact of the matter is, is that when it comes down to it, building these various units that we have, right? Uh, in various, you know, aspects of it, you know, you have to, the goal is for you, for them to be independent, right? Be able to have that capped off critical rate with the critical damage. However, in certain situations, you can take advantage of a unit like this that allows you to take your, you know, 95% with 150 crit damage and like push the envelope by bringing in more critical damage, but dropping your critical rate a little bit. How many times have you sat there on swap trying to min max your stats here, trying to get the most value, most damage, most bang for your buck, but you couldn't do it because you had a critical rate issue. This unit is gonna provide you that opportunity to fill in that gap and allow you to do maximum damage with your team here. So again, shout out to OBS one more time for allowing me to check out his account here. As you guys can see, he's running a max out vertigo for obvious reasons, but you could tell right here, he's taking advantage of the critical rate buff here by providing a ton of uh, crit damage here and just you know basically capping off at about 70, 75% here. And then last but not least, we got a star who's already utilizing another aspect of the game for him. So naturally he's gonna have a higher critical rate, but if he wanted to, he can take full advantage of this one right now by dropping the critical rate and getting a little bit more value if he had the rules to show for it. But anyways, fam, uh, huge, huge uh, team right here that you can take advantage. Uh, and again, like I said before, literally all these all these units are utilized in various aspects of gaming. So we got to put it out there because Lord knows if you guys are like me, I'm, I'm still struggling to this day to get myself, you know, all these new like el elemental like rift dungeons or whatnot that I haven't done. Like trying to rebuild those teams out there and then you know keep my R5 going and all this. I mean, it's just that's just too work, too much work at the end of the day. I'm not having that here. But what I am having is a nice clean kill right there, which is why, again, free to play, baby. This is this is pretty uh this is pretty good. Okay, this is pretty good. It's kind of hard to beat this one. I've been doing this run here a couple of times here, and it's been averaging anywhere again from like 25, 26 seconds to about 40 seconds when things don't go bad. Um, again, not, at the end of the day, it is a safe team. It is a free-to-play team. This is a team that you can build right now in order to conquer your goals when it comes to SRB10. So again, if you guys are down uh, for videos like this, you want to see more, let me know in the chat down below. Again, I know there's a lot of videos out there, but if you're still looking for free-to-play teams out there or different kind of combinations that we can incorporate, you let me know. You send me your, your message, okay, on Discord on email, whatever it is the case may be here, okay? And then we'll get we'll get together here. We'll make a video out here, especially if you got like a very, very nice team there. We'll throw it up on here, show the community out there so we can help everybody out and pay it for, you know what I mean? So, okay, that's gonna be it, fam. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childers, your Childers Place, checking out. Take care, and we'll see you all in the next one. We're out.